This is Rolf, the Executioner, from the Besieged Heroes set number two box. Not to be confused with Rolf the dog, not that you would get that confused. But. Anyways, I got this guy on sale for really cheap, and I like everything about the mini except the face. So I'm going to replace it with a cultist head from Puppets War. A quick decapitation for the Executioner, and then I hollow out the neck area to fit the larger head. Subscribe! I decided to use a bit of paper clip to pin the head just in case. I did a very tiny bit of green stuff work to make the top fold of his cowl overlap the new head. It wasn't anything groundbreaking, so this is what it looks like painted over with white. I paint the skin with Pale Flesh from Viejo. I use the Army Painter Speed Paint Hardened Leather on the noose. I use Gravelord Grey for his hood. Then I use some watered down Crusader skin to add some depth to the skin. Blood Red is used for the cowl, and also the middle section of his robe. I use more Gravelord Grey for basically the entire bottom half. I wanted to try a non-metallic metal style for his axe. So I used the Speed Paint Magic Blue on the blade, letting the paint pool on the outer edges for some easy shadows. And then I darkened parts of the shadows just a little bit more with pure black. I used some Liquitex White Ink to paint in the highlight on the blade, because the ink is very watery, so it's easier to blend, but it's still fairly opaque. I'm not experienced painting non-metallic metal at all, so I don't really know what I'm talking about, but hopefully it still looks cool for my skill level. I felt the urge to paint some minis lately, but also still feel the odd compulsion to convert every mini that I paint. I think Rolf the Executioner looks a bit more interesting with the head swap, even though I probably could have tried to sculpt a double chin to make it look more like a natural fit with the body. 